How's it going folks? This is Mike and I'm here to do a shelf by shelf series to show you some of my DVD collection. And uh, the section I'm doing here, well this, these two shelving units that I've got here, um, these have miscellaneous films stored in alphabetical order. They do not include horror films, science fiction, criterions, uh, and some of the, the films that I that I organize according to artists or directors such as Betty Davis, Woody Allen, uh, people like that. So this is, uh, in a way, it's everything else that I have no other way to classify. And I'm going to do just half of this in one video because my arm gets very tired and the uh, camera's going to start shaking and you'll all get motion sickness. I don't want to do that to you. So anyway, starting off, this is uh, a documentary called 900 Nights. It's all about the uh, rock group Big Bo Brother and the Holding Company. I'll put that down here. Give myself more room. Next we have 12 Angry Men. 13 Conversations About One Thing. 13 Moons, Steve Buscemi. Here's a History Channel um, documentary called 1968, all about that very turbulent year. 50 First Dates. This is an Abbott and Costello compilation. Volume 1, this is Adaptation. This is a compilation called uh, Adventure Classics. has four films, one of which is uh, They Made Me a Criminal, starring John Garfield. After Hours, Martin Scorsese. Agnes of God. The Air I Breathe, which I have not yet watched. Airplane. The Alamo, John Wayne. Alexander Revisited. Alfie, the original, starring Michael Caine, Shelley Winters. Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Scorsese. Alice's Restaurant, Arlo Guthrie. All the King's Men, Best Picture of 1949. All the Right Moves, Tom Cruise. American Beauty. Um, put that away so I get more room here. American East, very good film. American Graf Graffiti, something everybody likes. American History X, An American in Paris, classic 1951 musical, best picture of that year, starring Gene Kelly, Leslie Caron, directed by Vincent Minnelli, American Splendor, Analyze That, Robert De Niro, Billy Crystal, Anchors Away, Frank Sinatra, Gene Kelly, Catherine Grayson, another MGM musical, and then there were none, based on the Agatha Christie story, An Almost Perfect Affair, starring um, Keith Carradine and Monica Vitti, an Education, fantastic English film. Anatomy of a Murder, James Stewart, Lee Remick. Tom Hanks, Angels and Demons. Angels with Dirty Faces, Jimmy Cagney, Pat O'Brien. Here's the double feature, Anne of the Thousand Days with Mary Queen of Scots. Argo. Here are the two original Arthur films, Dudley Moore, Eliza Minnelli. My arm is starting to fall apart. Uh, the Assassination of Jesse James, Brad Pitt. The Astronaut's Wife, Johnny Depp, Charlize Theron. And here we have uh, eight volumes of this little series that I got from Alpha Video. This is Atomic Classics. Uh, it's a lot of uh, educational films that were shown in schools back in the 40s and 50s, telling you how to do everything from be a good person, not be a communist, how to brush your teeth, how to date, all that sort of nonsense. And I grew up watching a lot of those in school. Uh, Babel, Brad Pitt. Here's Babes in Toyland, a 1961 Disney musical starring Tommy Sands, Ray Bolger, and Annette. Here's Baby the Rain Must Fall starring Steve McQueen, Lee Remick, Don Murray. Here is Backbeat. This is a fictional uh, story about the Beatles. Well, it's kind of like a fictional history about how the Beatles got started. Back to the Beach, Frankie and Annette and their reunion film from 1986, I believe, 85 or 86. The Bad Seed starring Patty McCormick. Bandwagon, another classic MGM musical, 1953, starring Fred Astaire and Sid Charisse, directed by Vincent Minnelli. This is Bang the Drum Slowly, which I have not yet watched. Beach Party, the original, Frankie and Annette. Here's Because They're Young. This is a teenage angst film starring Dick Clark from 1960. This is The Beatniks, low-budget uh, crime drama that has nothing to do with Beatniks. And here is uh, A Beautiful Mind. Here's Beckett, starring... Peter O'Toole, Richard Burton, and Bean John Malkovich. And uh, I'm going to sign this off now because I'm halfway across the shelf and my hands are shaking. So, all right, see you soon.